Hello everyone. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about Godzilla vs. Hedorah in 1971, or Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster in 1972. That would be the American title. One hour and 25 minute PG film, released February 11th, 1972 in the United States. Here's the storyline. An ever-evolving alien life form from the dark Gysasis Nebula arrives to consume rampart, rampant pollution, spewing mists of sulfuric acid and corrosive sludge. Neither humanity or Godzilla may be able to defeat, be able to defeat this toxic menace. Huh. You know, before we get started here, I just can't get enough of the Godzillas from the late 60s and the early 70s. It's quite comedic, if you ask me. Directed by Yoshito Beno and Ishiro Honda. Written by um, Yoshit Yoshimitsu Bano and Takisha Kimura. Boy, I butchered those names. Anyways, here's the cast. Ikira Yamanouchi as Dr. Teru, Zain Teru Yeno. Yoshi Kimura as Toshi Yeno. That's his son. Hiroki Kawazi as Ken Yeno, Toshio Shiba as Yukio Kyuchi, and the cast goes on. I'm not going to butcher any more names. I'm sorry. Um, I was lucky enough to get the American version to where I can actually, it's actually voiced, not in subtitles, so it was a little bit easier to watch. Look, I don't know about you guys, but I'm 55, so as a kid growing up, my dad and I, my brothers, would watch the Godzilla movies on TV. I mean, we're talking every one, Mothra and all them. So this is like a throwback to me. I don't remember ever seeing this one before. So I said, uh, I said, what the hell? Godzilla back then was more like this comedic lizard, stumps, punches, makes gestures with his mouth quite different than today's Godzilla. And I think that's what, that's what makes this movie so much more interesting. So, as you know, there parts of the towns have junk and shit in the water. We're talking pollution, pollution, pollution. Well, this alien life form forms through this pollution. Starts off as a gigantic tadpole. You guessed it, you're right, you heard me, tadpole. A young boy, um, his dad is a scientist, so this boy is a big Godzilla fan. Now remember now, when Godzilla first came out, he was evil, he would terrorize Tokyo and so forth. Now he's like, you see all these toys of Godzilla, it's quite weird. Um, he has all these Godzilla toys and he loves Godzilla. And he always tells his mom and dad that Godzilla is going to come and save them to fight this alien being. You know, again... You can say what you want to say. The younger generation probably won't get this at all. But it's Japanese at its best. So basically it's Godzilla versus Hidora slash a smog monster. And Godzilla has a hard time beating him because, after all, he's acid rain. You know, you, you name it, he's there. He can fly like a flying saucer and then change back to his monster form. You know, he's kicking Godzilla's ass, as most Godzilla movies are, you know. And then, somehow, some way, Godzilla finds a way to win with the Japanese help. The only way to kill this creature is to electrocute it to where it turns into, like, mud. He's done. So there's a lot more to this movie than what I'm telling you, but if you guys get a chance, it's everywhere. Look for it. You can watch it on Tubi. You can watch it on Plex. You can find it some way, somewhere. It's a fun little film. I mean, you can say what you want to say. It's just a fun little film. Again, Godzilla is quite different back in these days than they are now. So, definitely check it out. Godzilla vs. Hedorah in 1971. Or the American version, Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster in 1972. I give this classic gem an 8 out of 10 just for the fact of it being in 1971-72. And how Godzilla was. It's a fun little film. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.